Hello, thanks for joining. Today we're gonna to do a toe to head joint mobilization. So let's start with warming up our feet. And just alternate lifting up your heels, bending one leg. And feel it underneath your toes and the arches of your foot. And then putting all your weight on one leg. Do a little circle, circling your heel. Starting to also include your ankles and your knees and your hips. Let's go around the other way. Then imagine that your hands are on the heads of these two magnificent white tigers for balance. And you're gonna lift up your leg and do that same circle, I'm deciding maybe a little circle. And maybe what happens if you get bigger and bigger and bigger, opening up your, and let's spiral back. Feeling the furriness of the head, heads of your tigers underneath your palms. And shake it up. Let's do the other foot. So do a little circle. And then a circle the other way. And then finding those friendly white, white tigers. And shift your weight to one leg. Just do a little, as you do it, see if you can kind of crinkle your toes, flex your foot, get your ankle involved, and then little by little, include more of your hip and your knee, and then back the other way. Just kind of have a game of how many joints can you be using at the same time. One of the focuses of that, uh, the nickname for this class is motion is motion. Right. So then warm up your hands, get your palms warm, bring your feet close together, and then put your palms on your knees and glide your hips back a little bit. And then just do a little circle as you kind of make it more like an oval. Look down on the ground, a couple feet ahead of you. Just gently oval with your knees and then go back the other way. Noticing that as you're circling your knees, your ankles, even your toes, your hips are all involved. And then come to standing. And then rubbing your palms one more time. Let's put it on our kidneys. Let's get a little warmth, a little rub. And then do the tiniest little circle. Imagine that your tailbone has a, a weight hanging from and that weight is just tracing the smallest circle. And then little by little, have that circle get bigger and bigger, intending them for the crown of your head to be lifting up toward the heavens so that your hips are doing all the circling. And then let's come back the other way, spiraling our way back. And then since we sort of started this way, so start a little circle. Let's see if I'm getting lost. <laughs> Play around with circling to the right and circling to the left. Just notice if one way is, is easier than the other. All right, and then slow it down. And then inhale, one shoulder up toward your ear. And just Hold it for a little bit, a couple breaths. And the thought is we're gonna contract our trapezius. Just really contract it, contract it, contract it. And then glide your shoulder back and then little by little slide and glide your shoulder blade down your back body. And then, and then just notice the trapezius on that side and we'll do the same thing on the other. So lifting up and as you lift one shoulder up towards your ear see if you can invite the other shoulder to not help and just be relaxed so hold it for a couple breaths and then gliding your shoulder blade back just little by little by little letting it sink down 
and then inhale one shoulder up and around and the other. And then let's include our elbows. So putting your fingertips together with your thumbs. We'll lift one elbow up as you inhale and exhale down and lift the other one up and exhale down. And then invite your whole body, even your toes, to help warm up your shoulders. So inhale up. And then let's inhale back down. And then and shake it out. And then standing with one foot in front of the other in a staggered stance. We're going to shift our weight from front to back. To shift back, put your weight on the outer edge of your foot so that your knee kind of pulls out towards your pinky toe. Shift your weight forward. Now turn your torso with your feet rooted towards your back leg. Now shift your weight back. Now turn your torso towards your front leg. Shift your weight forward. So then little by little, take this movement and smooth out all the corners. Again, tracing this time sort of an infinity sign with that weight hanging from your tailbone. And then once you sort of have that figure eight motion down, shift your weight to your forward leg. Shake out whatever. So for your mirror image, you're gonna be shaking out your right arm. Lift your right shoulder up toward your ear as you turn. We're gonna do that same movement with our hips making that infinity sign. But let's include, <laughs> luckily I had that desk, uh, shoulder warm up. So a lot of times when, you know, for myself, when my shoulders feel really tight, by helping, opening up my hip joint, it actually makes a difference. So I'll we'll put the two together. And then shift your weight to your back leg. Bring in your front leg a little bit. And just because we're shifting your weight, remember those white tigers, lifting up your thigh as far as feels right. And let's just get a little kick. Maybe, a, oh, this is stretching it. A kick and a turn. And shake it out. And then give a little shake. Let's do the other side. So shift your weight to your forward leg. Turn. And maybe you won't need this sort of breakdown, but I do. For me to make a figure eight while I'm moving back and forth, I had to break it down. So I shift it that way, shift my weight, turn, shift, and then just smooth out the corners, tracing the infinity sign. And then let's include our arm. So lifting your left shoulder up towards your ear and down. So inhaling it up. And then exhaling as you come forward. Let's do one more. Shift your weight to your back leg and find those tigers. Straighten your back leg. Lift your thigh as high as feels right today. And give it a little kick. And maybe a little ankle twirl. Shake it out, <laughs> give a little shake. And then exhale your chin to your chest. Just feel that stretch in the back of your neck. And then lift one ear up toward the heavens while your chin is towards your chest. Notice how that changes the stretch in your neck. Feeling your feet on the floor while you're doing this. Now I like to put my hand on my chin and gently nudge it toward your left armpit, doing your mirror image. And just kind of feel if I use my hand on my jaw, it kind of helps the stretch and drop it down. Let's do the other side. So we'll take a slow breath into your lower belly. Exhale your chin down to your chest. And see what happens when you stand a little taller, even though your chin is reaching toward your chest. Notice how that changes the stretch. And then 
inhale and clear air, other air up toward the heavens. And just relax into the stretch. And for me, I have to resist the temptation to not like find my maximum stretch, right? We're just warming up these muscles, inviting them to release tension and tightness. So then putting your hand on your chin, gently nudge it towards your right armpit. And just relax your shoulders, soften your tailbone, and then shake it out. And then with your top of your head, almost like you're the moon, it's called dancing with the universe. Have your top of your head circle around your body. And this is completing our toe to the top of the head, joint mobilization. And let's go back the other way by making your neck soft. And then slow it down. Put your hands on your lower belly. And close your eyes. And take a slow, deep breath into your lower belly. And as you exhale, picture sending your breath down your legs and out the balls of your feet, right between the balls of your feet. So a slow, deep breath into your hands. And then exhale down your legs and out in the middle of your feet, your bubbling springs. Let's do two more breaths like this. And invite your feet to just sink, merging with the earth. And invite your hips to join in so your tailbone and your feet are helping you make contact that lovely nourishing energy of the earth, that yin energy. And then a thread of white light just lifting the crown of your head up toward the heavens. So our lower body is rooted and the upper body is just connected to the heavens. Turn your awareness inwards. Just notice any sensations. Then opening up your eyes with your hands, your palms facing up to the heavens, float them up and then around your forehead, turn them around, interlace and push and come down. So inhale up and then exhale. And as you inhale, stand a little taller. And as you exhale, sink. And the next time as you inhale, stand up on your toes and exhale down. Up and exhale down. This time, inhale and then just do a little side bend and come back. Inhale up and exhale. Inhale to center. Exhale. So then, putting them all together, if you want to inhale, stand on your toes. And then we have a few more of these. So inhale, stretch, and then as you exhale, twist with your feet rooted, looking behind you. Inhale to center, and exhale, sink. Inhale, fold your hands up. Exhale, twist. Inhale to center, and if it feels right, I'm gonna add in the inhale, stand on my toes, twist. <laughs> down and floating up, standing on your toes, keep doing that twist and shake it up. And then with your feet rooted to the earth and your knees soft, inhale as you look up and then exhale round your back and tuck your tailbone under and bring your chin toward your chest. So we were working in all those major joints, but now let's invite motion is lotion to our spine. So invite each vertebrae to move independently and with ease. And 
And then next time you inhale, go over to the left. And then exhale over to the left. Take a big breath in. And exhale. And as you inhale over to the right, feel the spaces between your ribs, those intercostal muscles. And come back down. Let's just do one more to the center. And exhale. And then shifting your weight to one side and letting your head just flop over to the other. Just do a little dog, wags its tail. Put your awareness from your tailbone all the way up your spine to where your spine meets your neck. And invite that sort of fluidity and ease. And slow it down. And then with your feet rooted, letting your hands, just arms be heavy. And then letting them knock. Doing a little look over your shoulder and inviting that twisting in your spine. And then let's take your one hand and just knock on those traps. Knocking out any tension or tightness. And let's drop it back down. And then slow it down and start to shake side to side and see how much flesh you can get wiggling. So basically jiggle whatever will wiggle. We'll wiggle whatever will jiggle. Why? And I have to use my arms to see if I can do that now, All right? See if you can get your chest and your upper back. And then let's shake up and down. And let's inhale through our nose and out our mouth with a... And wiggling out your hands and then slow it down. And I realized in our toe-to-head joint mobilization, we didn't do our wrists. I have one to share with you. So stand with your feet a little bit wider. And we're going to basically have your palms rotate on each other and maybe shift side to side. So this is starting to warm up our wrists. And then with the palms of your middle of your palms touching, you're going to lead with one pinky. Just trace a figure eight with a pinky. And listening, obviously, to your wrists, maybe even flutter your fingers around to get your finger joints. And then maybe even like all of your body participate. And then lead whatever pinky you're leading with, lead with the other, tracing that figure eight. And then maybe even getting a little bigger with it. And then slow it down. Just close your eyes. And turn your awareness to your inner landscape. In your stillness, notice any movement. Maybe any buzzing or tingling or shimmering. And then opening up your eyes, bring your palms a couple inches apart and pull them away from each other and together and inhale as you pull them apart and exhale imagine that you have a beam of light in between your palms and as you pull your hands apart that beam of light grows and then we condense it so the rest of our class today we have a bunch of playing with a chi ball movements to share with you I think it will help uh, support all the joint mobilization that we've done today. So we'll start with our little baby chi ball. Now rotate your chi ball so that one hand is on top. 
And then what's going to happen is that whatever hands on top, your elbow's going to lead, but your elbow's going to pull away. I don't know, maybe that's much more complicated than necessary. Maybe just watch me. So turning from your hips and your waist, and my elbow is going to lead, and then I turn. So you still have that ball of light between your palms. Now you're moving that ball of light, and you're rotating keeping your awareness between your palms, softening your fingers. So then what happens if we take that ball and let's rotate it end to end, noticing that all that joint mobility that we worked on moving through space. And now let's bring that chi ball together. Now we're going to actually split this chi ball. So what's going to happen is you're going to, I'll walk you through with a mirror image. You're going to step back with your left leg. You're going to split this chi ball and float your left hand up, your right hand out, shift your weight to your back leg, and you look up as you make this sort of diagonal look up at your hand. Now come to center. Now with your right hand on top, shift your right leg back, shift your weight as you split your chi ball and look up with your hand. So come to center. Now your left hand's on top, so your left hand's going to go back, split, shift your weight so that your weight's on your back. Back leg, but that's your front leg, right? Come to center. Now your right hand's on top, and this is your last one. Shift your weight. Split your chi ball and look up. Let your hand up in the heavens and come back down. And let's go back to our chi ball. Noticing any sensations between your palms. So now, what happens? We little by little grow our ball. So then, turning. Still keeping your awareness between your palms. Now we have like a giant, 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 giant chi ball. Keeping your awareness. And if you're losing touch with your chi ball, you might want to shrink it. Now your chi ball can actually go forward and around. So play with where you want your chi ball. And bring that chi ball, make it smaller, and turn it. Now, floating your right hand up, just about your heart center. Turn your palms away from each other and push so that your bottom hand is connecting to the earth and your top hand is connecting to the heavens. Now, turn your palms toward each other to condense your chi ball. Now turn your chi ball, float your top hand up and at about your heart level, turn your palms away and just have your top hand connect to that young inspirational energy of the heavens and your bottom hand to that nourishing energy of the earth. Turn your palms toward each other and then just condense from a big chi ball to a small. So, connecting heaven and earth. And then inhale as you stand taller. And then exhale as you bring that chi bell down to your lower belly. Inhale, load up. And exhale, condense. Growing that chi ball. Connecting to the earth and the heavens and bringing all that energy into our lower belly. Let's do one more. And then turning our chi ball and inhale as you stand a little taller and exhale. Just noticing any sensations between your hands. And then floating your hands up. Turning your thumbs back, 
and float your hands overhead, bring that she ball down. So as you inhale, connect to the energy of the earth. Exhale. Now inhale, connect to the energy of the heavens. We'll put it in a little chi ball, which will just pull down to our lower belly. And we're sort of starting a little bit variation to stroking the waterfall at sunrise. So connect to that energy of the earth. And connect to that energy of the heavens. Bring them together. And then have that little chi ball in between your hands, sticking it all through your body. And as you bring this chi ball down, let's stop right in front of our forehead. Picture a golden light in between your palms. Invite that light to just bathe your brain, your upper dantian, with clarity, clear thinking, inspiration. Now let's sink this chi ball right in front of our throat center. Just picture sending that golden light so that our speech may be open and true, but kind and loving. Now sink that chi ball right in front of our heart center. And bathe, bathe our hearts with open heartedness and joy and love and compassion. Then sink that chi ball to our lower belly and let's just do a little and as you inhale, picture that chi ball growing, but also joining inside of your lower belly, which is our lower dantian. It's our vitality center. And just chi gong is chi is our vital life force, and gong means to cultivate. So we're just sort of cultivating this energy. And just invite that glowing ball of energy to just grow inside of us. And then bringing your hands to your lower belly, closing your eyes. Give a little stir to those, that chi that we've been cultivating. To our lower belly, stir in the chi. And take a slow, deep breath into your lower belly. And a slow breath out. And just take a moment to turn your awareness inwards. Noticing all the, the joints that we are mobilizing. And then gliding your hands to your heart center. Give a little rub. Thank you. I hope you have a wonderful week.